In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to log on using Secure Shell, create a web root folder, create a simple HTML page using the Nano Editor, and to display that page using a web browser. So the first thing we need to do to log in is to use the Secure Shell command with our username and the name of the server. And once I've logged in, I'm going to clear the screen. Now, if I type in the ls command, you can see there are no files or folders in my home folder. If I type in pwd, you can see where my home folder is on the server. I'm now going to create a folder called public underscore HTML. And if I type in ls again, you can see there's the folder. And if I use the L flag, you can see there's a D at the start, which means it's a directory. I'm now going to change directories into that folder. And obviously, because I've just created it, there are no files inside that folder. I'm now going to call the nano editor and tell it what the file is I want to create. And I'm now in the editor itself. So I can now simply type in my web page as normal. And as you can see, I've created a very, very simple web page to allow me to demonstrate how this works. Now at the bottom of the screen, there are a series of commands. And to, inst to call the commands, I use the control key. So write out means save, so control O. And now I'm going to save to the file index.html. And now to exit, it's control X. And if I now type in ls, you can see the index.html file is now in the directory. And if I use the L flag, you can see there's no D at the beginning, which means it's not a directory, and it's 117 bytes long. And I've now finished creating my file on the Secure Shell connection. So now I go to my web browser, and I type in the correct address, which is creative.coventry. I then put my username in, if I press return, you can see there's my page. I don't put the public underscore HTML in the web browser address because that's just where it looks for it on the server. I don't have to specify index.html because if you don't specify, it looks for a file called index.html. If it can't find one called that, it looks for a file called index.php. If I put index.html, it's explicitly asking for that particular file.